Hello and welcome to Impera Project, a project built on a dream. Last time we presented you a small interpretation of the novel by Scott F. Fitzgerald, The Great Gatsby. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can be announced every time we post something new. In one of our last videos, we briefly mentioned the concept of quantum suicide. We do find this idea interesting, so today we want to present you an explanation of this beautiful concept aimed to prove one can reach immortality. But before we start, we want to tell you that this is nothing more than a theory, and while it states that one can become immortal, it is nothing more than simple speculations. It is also attacked by Schrodinger's theory and also by the theory of chaos, so don't try it at home. We will give you now the general premise of the idea. This whole thing revolves around the many worlds theory. This theory states that whenever you make a decision, the universe splits, creating a world where you choose to follow the decision and a world where you haven't. The you from the first world will suffer the consequences of the decision. The you from the second world will not. And life goes on on both sides. Let's take a general example. You have to choose in a moment A or B. If you choose A, you will live in the world where the A case follow the event. If you choose B, you will live in the world where the B case follow the event. The universe was split into A world and B world. Both exist at the same time. This applies for every single individual in this existence, so every time one makes a decision, the world is split. You are inhabiting the world where the decision has been made. Moving on to the quantum suicide, the general example given to support this theory is the one with the nuclear bomb and the trigger that measures the spin value of a proton. <clears throat> While this thing is indeed interesting, it feels kind of unrealistic. The chances of you getting in a room with a nuclear bomb are still pretty thin, and even if you would actually desire to do that, it is a feat hard to accomplish. So we think about giving you another example, somehow more normal. Let's assume you play Russian Roulette by yourself using a Magnum 44 revolver. It has six rooms for a bullet. In general, the probability of the bullet being in one random hole is 50%. It is either there or is not there. But for the sake of presenting you some more interesting facts about probability, we will calculate the probability of you getting shot at each room. We will use E for event. The probability of you getting shot at the first attempt is 1 divided by 6. That means 60, 16%. Otherwise speaking, the chance of you not getting killed is 1 minus 1 divided by 6, which is 84%. A very good chance. Applying this reason to every single room that remains, you will notice that the probability of the bullet to be there increases up to 1 which means 100%. If the Magnum has 6 rooms and 1 bullet, the quantum suicide will not work, because at one moment, in the luckiest of cases, the probability of event E to happen becomes 1, which means it is sure to happen. So, how about changing the number of rooms? Infinite. If you have an infinity of rooms in a magnum pistol and only one bullet, the probability of the bullet being in one random room is still 50%, but the overall probability of event E happening is so small that it is somewhere around 0%. Just like in the case of the atomic bomb and the measurer, the same phenomenon happens. Every time you pull the trigger, the universe splits in two. One world is the one where you are still alive, and the other one is the world where you died. The quantum suicide theory says that you can only understand the world where you lived, because obviously you cannot comprehend the world where you died. So if you press the trigger, 
the chance is 50%. But if you haven't died the first time and you press again, the chances drop and they drop every time you do it. So much that it's no longer a coincidence that you survived. Overall, this is the principle of quantum theory. Re but again, when it comes to quantum physics, you have to keep in mind that there is nothing for sure. And in the end, everything is just mere speculations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, we wish you a beautiful day.